U.S. President Donald Trump is at loggerheads with two of the world's biggest social media giants, Twitter and Facebook. Donald Trump has now threatened legal action against Twitter. This after U.S. President's re-election campaign. And its Twitter account was briefly restricted by Twitter. The account was unblocked later, even as Donald Trump threatened legal action. Twitter's action caused an outcry from the Republicans. The social media platform had temporarily blocked the Team Trump account from sending tweets after the account had posted a video about Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden's son. Now, Twitter said that the video violated its rules. Senate Republicans, however, have now summoned Twitter chief executive Jack Dorsey over the decision to block a news report critical of Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden and his son Hunter. Republican senators have called Twitter's decision to block links to Two New York Post articles and election interference. The committee chair, Lindsey Graham, and Republican Senators Ted Cruz and Josh Hawley said the committee will vote on sending the subpoena on Tuesday, October the 20th. The committee plans to have Dorsey in front of the committee by the 23rd of October, days before the U.S. elections. Now, speaking on... Republican senators moving to subpoena Twitter's chief executive Jack Dorsey in the matter. U.S. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has said that it was reprehensible that social media platforms had blogged stories, especially about Joe Biden and his son Hunter. And also that whether one approves of the information or not, if you selectively suppress information, that's censorship. I think suppressing... Uh information is reprehensible um, whether whether one approves of the information or not if you selectively suppress information that's censorship and um, you know in, in this country we've always advocated uh, a competition of ideas all the ideas aren't necessarily good but you debate them out but you don't deny people access so I think what they're doing is reprehensible. Now, that New York Post story contained alleged details of Joe Biden's son. Now, Hunter Biden's business dealings with a Ukrainian energy company. It said that the former vice president, that is Joe Biden, had met with an advisor of the said Ukrainian company. The article by the Post questioned Joe Biden's claims that he was never involved in his son Hunter's business dealings in Ukraine. Now, Donald Trump has demanded that Joe Biden release all details of his association, any association with Hunter Biden's business dealings with the said Ukrainian firm. However, this story has now snowballed into a larger question about the role social media giants are playing ahead of the U.S. election. The move by the social media giants is being criticized because it comes at a time when many Republican lawmakers, including Donald Trump, are accusing tech companies of censoring conservative political speech.